Ah. Hi, I'm Marissa Rojas and I'm a filmmaker. So, and today I just wanted to talk about thinking less and doing more. Um, so, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for a very long time, years. Um, I think I just started to get serious about it like a year ago, but I wouldn't even call it being serious because I have yet to become consistent on here. If you check my channel, I have like maybe five videos up in the past four months. So basically, I just wanted to talk about why that is. Um, right now, I think my biggest problem, and I think my problem has, this has been my problem for a very long time, is that I like to do a lot of uh, like conception of ideas. So like brainstorming and like ideation, which is great. It's better than like letting your thoughts just stay in your head and like, you know, not getting them down on paper. But my problem is that I do too much conception. These are all ideas and I do very, very little execution, which I obviously want to change. Um, whether that be on YouTube or just in my life and in my career and so on and so forth. Um, I'm looking at my notes. So I think there are a couple reasons why I'm in this kind of weird rut. And one, it's because and I think a lot of people can relate to this is that I'm, perfect, I'm a perfectionist and I think that everything I put out needs to be at a certain level where when in reality, I think with any type of art or just anything you do, you have to put the hours in, you have to do so many executions before you're even, you even like what you're doing, um, you know? Uh, you know, but, ooh, let me, re it took Picasso like something like 50,000 paintings and you know, Picasso is Picasso to become, and like, it took him that many executions to become who he is. So, I mean, I think that's just where I'm at. I'm not saying I'm going to be Picasso by any means, but again, like, if you want to be good at something, you have to just do it, whether it's everything you put out is bad, you know, at least to begin with, but eventually you're going to find kind of a uh, groove that allows you to, you know, make work that you're proud of doing. Uh... What was the second one? Oh, secondly, I think I'm getting way too ahead of myself. So when I started, or at least as I like continue trying to start this channel, I think that I need to be a certain person, not be a certain person, but like I, my brand, I think my brand needs to be so fine tuned already. Whereas like I have yet to make content. So it's like, how can I know what my brand is if I don't even have content, content or films or whatever you want to call it out that kind of that can not kind of that can represent who I am um so yeah just like getting way too ahead of myself and think expecting way too much of myself from the get-go and then last is is fear and again I think most of us have that just lingering fear and it I think most of the time it's irrational because it's not like I'm gonna like get hurt if I start making these videos or whatever but yeah, I just, I don't know why I get so scared to like um, film these videos and talk to a camera. I'm actually getting a little better at it. I mean, I've done it a couple of times now and it's getting a little easier. I'm, I mean, I'm actually, I know this parking lot's kind of deserted. There's cricket players over here, but um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's getting easier and I need to just like stop caring so much about what people are going to think of me because I mean, if this is something I really want to do, then their opinion shouldn't matter. Um, yeah, so those are three things. So perfectionism, getting way too ahead of myself, and then um, fear. But also, I just didn't want to like leave it. Like that's why I'm I'm just not doing what I want to do. It's I want to take action, and like these are the three things that I'm gonna do to get myself out of this rut. Um, and the first one is I think I need to get, do these more. So these take one vlogs, one take vlogs, where I kind of just, I mean, I I will go in with bullet points, but I'll just talk to the camera and let my my thoughts go and hopefully in an elegant way I will communicate what I want to communicate. Um, I do those at least once a week whether or not I post it. I think that will be a good exercise and then if I'm going to get good at talking to the camera I have to do it more. Um, 
And then two, I think I just need to make content that I want to make and get out of this idea that I have to know what my brand is, what my niche is from the get go. Even though, yes, I'm a filmmaker and I think the initial attention and the attention still is to make um, videos related to filmmaking, I think I shouldn't pigeonhole, pigeonhole myself into one thing you know at the end of the day you know I, there's so many things that I, I can talk about and so many stories that I want to tell and I think it can sometimes hinder you if you think that you have to be something or someone right away so yeah um, I'm almost at the seven minute mark I'll end it here again I'm Rosa Rojas I'm a filmmaker thank you for watching if you would like to see more of my videos you know what to do um, and I'll see you in the next one thank you take care